Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 8th, 2023, in some places, September 7th still in most. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a special hurricane forecast here for you as we're looking at imagery of Hurricane Jova, who is now in the East Pacific Ocean and has made a lot of ground already. As a Category 4 hurricane at one point today, Hurricane Jova did gain a lot of strength. And you can see a very defined eye wall there throughout the day today. And then increasing some more energy at the end of the day. But wow, we've got two very strong hurricanes in both of our northern oceans right now. And Hurricane Jova is one of them. And this is what we're looking at right now is the current last 12 hours of satellite imagery with this deepened surface level low, upper level low all together here, creating waves across the Pacific Ocean. And that is going to be heading straight westward. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide for full forecast details for this storm. Won't be affecting humanity yet, but it could be on its way towards Hawaii in the long range forecast. So stay tuned to daily events. We'll be keeping you updated as the models get updated. Larger look here at Hurricane Jova or Pacific Cyclone Jova. As most of the Pacific tropical storms are called cyclones or typhoons. Was packing winds of over 250 kilometers per hour today. And that's why it was at a Category 4 hurricane. And of course, we've got Tropical Storm Lee, who reached a Category 4 intensity today. And this is overlooking the Central Atlantic. At the last 12 hours of imagery of Hurricane Lee, as it gained strength and intensity today, forcing to raise the Category to 4. And in the long-range forecast, we'll be breaching a Category 5 hurricane status when it gets really close to the small islands here in the Caribbean. So heads up the Caribbean, you could be seeing southern bits of Hurricane Lee as it heads west-northwestward and then will jot straight north. Believe it or not, we'll be making landfall in the long-range forecast New York State, and then up into the Atlantic provinces. So this is going to be a devastating storm for a lot of people. Very large Category 4 already, Hurricane Lee. And in this long-range forecast is heading west and northwest at a very slow pace. It's going to take about four days to reach the Caribbean islands as it slowly treks, as I said, west-northwest. And then in the long-range forecast, it will be jotting northward, according to, anyways, northern Pacific models, here with windy.com. Just some more amazing satellite imagery of Hurricane Lee as it turned into a Category 4 today. Very distinguished eyewall there today. Stay tuned for the next Daily Do. We'll be giving you full satellite imagery and as well forecasts for this devastating and large hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Thoughts thoughts and prayers going out ahead of time to everybody that will be affected by this hurricane. And as well, please share this with all your friends and family who may be in the path of this mighty Hurricane Lee. Now let's get into the windy.com Uh, hurricane models showing as well the wind gusts so they're going to be reaching over 250 kilometers per hour for the next two to three days as it reaches a category five intensity intensity 245 kilometer per hour wind gusts there around the eye of this hurricane lee so this is the next seven days Looks like it's going to just graze the Caribbean islands. But then look in the long range forecast as it heads towards northeastern United States, New York, 
making landfall there and then up into the Atlantic provinces of Canada as a Category 3, if not 4, hurricane. And then we've got another one racing in just behind that under a very strong high-pressure ridge in the northern mid-Atlantic right now. So we've got Hurricane Lee, and then we've got Hurricane Katia, who is going to be following the same trek, just a little bit more northward. And then what have we got going on here in the northern hemisphere? Spinning over Iceland in the long-range forecast. Huge low-pressure intensity here, developing. Look at that. Low-pressure centers just joining forces to create one monstrous low-pressure system over Iceland. Intense. What is going on in our world right now? Extreme weather events brought to you by our sun. It's not our fault. Just saying. But we've got a lot of big changes, and even forecasters and scientists around the world said the intensity is going to increase over this next little while. And this is why they've developed a lot of ag agendas for our future, for sustainable development of civilization on our planet. Hashtag Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. They know what's coming to our planet. Having a look here at our upper level winds, here is our southern polar vortex right now. A little bit oblonged still as we're watching our wandering northern and southern poles. Documented here with daily events worldwide if you've been watching for the past five years. I've been talking about it and documenting it. This is the past seven years of upper level winds and this is right now. The intensity is going to continue through the Atlantic hurricane season and as well the Pacific cyclone season. Watch for intense super typhoons in long range and as well multiple Category 5 hurricanes heading towards the North American continent. Also wanted to give you a quick glance here at our sea surface temperatures right now. As yeah, we've had a very warm year on the planet and it has helped create a bath pretty much in the Gulf of Mexico. Having a look at temperatures in the bottom left-hand corner, we'll zoom into the Gulf of Mexico where we've got temperatures in the 30s degrees Celsius through the Caribbean, 30 degrees Celsius and over into Egypt, 33 Sea of Omen, 33, very, very hot bath water on this planet right now. Just wait until winter tries to come back in for 2023. We're going to see a lot of changes here. I wanted to share with you the surface sea temperatures now, and then we will be monitoring it over this next little while. As our jet streams have changed, looking at our upper level jet streams right now, we've got a very strong west to easterly, but very northward. And a strong high pressure ridge in the northern hemisphere. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Please share this video. Bye -bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.